Good afternoon, this is Pete from FigLife.com. And today I'm gonna to look at this fig called Black Greek. All right, so uh, this is my Black Greek fig tree. Um, it's really been growing well, uh, probably actually Got more growth on this tree than any of my other trees. Um, Improved Celeste is right over there, that, that kind of big tree right over there. And then MBVS is right there. Um, so Black Creek's kind of right in the middle and I've got it kind of surrounded by fig trees on all sides. So it's a little bit difficult to get to, but um, I've, uh, I may have to clear a path for it soon here when it starts ripening some more figs. Uh, they've just started to ripen. It's August, I think uh, 22nd or 23rd here in Northern Virginia. And uh, no head start for this thing. Being in the ground, obviously I can't, I can't put it in the greenhouse. So uh, this is when you can probably expect it to ripen around uh, this part of the world is, is around this time frame, kind of mid to late August. Um, it's just a little bit behind MBVS. I started getting MBVS about a week ago. And I don't know if that's just because it's surrounded by fig trees or you know, if it is in fact just a little bit later than MBVS. But uh, let me let me see if I can, this is actually how I get to it. I, I go through this little path here. So let me, let me go, go through my path. Okay, here's, uh, here's Black Greek. Um, so you can see the leaves there. Uh, you know, pretty typical leaf shape. Again, just tons and tons of figs all over the place uh, as i as i mentioned starting to ripen now so i've started to put a few organza bags on them uh, they have a pretty tight eye but not completely tight so you know i try to make sure i i, I get organza bags on all those figs uh, let me go kind of underneath the canopy here yeah um so in case you can't tell <laughs> it's growing really well and producing lots of fruit um, so this, that's exactly what I wanted from this fig. All right, I've got my black Greek fig here. Uh, so this is a hardy Chicago type fig. Uh, and it's one of five varieties that I have on the ground. I chose it because it was a good uh, taste and a good producer. And um, it was supposed to do well in the ground, like most hardy Chicago types, uh, which are one of the best types to put in the ground up here in Northern Virginia. Uh, so I chose this fig along with MBVS, being another uh, fig variety that's similar to hardy Chicago, to go ahead and put in the ground. And uh, they they both are doing what I intended them to do in the ground, which is produce lots of figs that are pretty tasty. Uh, so let me go ahead and cut this fig open. All right, I cut it open. And uh, sure enough, it's got that hardy Chicago sort of look on the inside. It looks to be fully ripe and should be pretty tasty. So let me go ahead and try this fig. So I have black Greek here, hardy Chicago type. Mm. Yeah, I've eaten so many hardy Chicago type figs. Uh, it's not really a surprise when I taste it. Um, but it is just a refreshingly good flavor, consistently good flavor from these hardy Chicago type figs and uh, Black Greek being one of the, you know, one of the good ones. Yeah, so uh, great fig to put in the ground. Um, definitely recommend that every grower on the East Coast get at least one, maybe two or three uh, hardy Chicago types, depending on how many figs that you uh, want to get and uh, other factors. But um, now this is a, a good variety and uh, there, there's a bunch of hardy Chicago types you can choose from. I mean, if it hadn't been this one, it would have been a different one um, and it probably would have also produced good figs. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't say that you have to pick Black Greek or you have to pick MBVS or you have to pick whatever. I mean, but I think definitely you really should get a hardy Chicago type if you don't have one. I mean, it's pretty much the go-to fig here for the East Coast. So that was Black Greek. Uh, if you like this video, please hit subscribe and check out my website, www.figlife.com. Thanks.